let's uh, use uh, the, um, <clears throat> the mesh we have done. But I will just um, turn off, disable the, the whole algorithm. Maybe only I will save the mesh surface. And maybe I will also save deconstruct bread. I will go for mesh um, and just take it. And I will go for points and take the vertices. So right now, if I go for model in the Karamba, I will go mesh to shell. I will go for the connecting the mesh. I could, of course, do it directly, but uh, I do it with the data holder. And um, what I have here, I see that it creates um, some kind of the elements. So one more time, assemble, uh, one more time, load, gravity, and cross-section. So let's do it. Uh, I will go for the model, assemble model, elements, supports. Um, I have the vertices, so it's super easy to do. Point, position. I am blocking um, all of the uh, conditions. I am connecting supports. I am taking the loads which will be the gravity. And then the cross section, if I go for the cross section and I will go for the shell constant and connect this cross section here, I see that I have height only one variable, so I will make uh, 20. And also I will make a material. Material selection I will choose. And connect it to the cross section. I will choose, um, let it be wood on the beginning. And he is not turning uh, red, so uh, it seems like it is working. Right now, what I will do is I will see the results. I will go for the shell view. If I connect the model, I didn't calculate anything. So this is just showing me, for example, uh, if the, uh, what is what kind of the cross section it is. Uh, and also it should, um, and it seems like uh, it created at least some elements. And let's do uh, the analyze, um, first order, connect with this one, and I'm changing the cross section for the displacement. I will also turn off the preview. So here you can observe, for example, displace, the displacement, the stresses, um, or the utilization. If you would like to check uh, the um, shell forces, I'm taking result shell forces. Go for the calculated model, connect to analyzed model, and then I can uh, ch um, choose between principal and local. And one more time, the data structure. If 
You see that it has, if I go here to the element, you see that he have got the 32 triangles and you have also 32 answers, I think. Yeah, 31, but we are indexing from the zero, so it's 32. So uh, this time it's not in the separate branches, uh, but of course, if we would like, we just create a graph and we have uh, for each branch, each um, result for the each element. Um, what can we hear more? Uh, the, sometimes you want to see, for example, the line results on shell. Let's do it. Let's uh, go and connect the calculated model to this one. And we would like to see the force flow, for example. Um, the thing which we also need to add is the list of points. Um, and here we could try to use the assemble. Uh, if we have a model, we can also disassemble this model. I will do it like this. I will go for the model, disassemble. And then I will have all of the points which were used to uh, create finite element um, uh, model. So if I connect this point to list of uh, source force flow, um, let me just see. Um, there are points. Okay, maybe it will be faster to just do with easel lines. I choose the easel lines. Um, so they are showing me generally how the force is going through. Uh, many of you have educational version, but so maybe you should stay with smaller number of uh, elements. But if you have a bigger number, you see that it's starting to create a pretty nice pattern how the force is flowing uh, over the structure. 